Hi, this is Matt. Today we want to talk about traction, tires, weight, and specifically I'd like to discuss our O-ring tires. So what is traction? Traction is accomplished by when you have a wheel, in this case, could be a wheel on anything, could be a wheel on a pickup truck, uh, you know, a, um, a wheel on a dragster. This wheel makes contact with the surface, which could be a road, a street, or in our case, a pipe. So traction is accomplished by the friction that happens right down at the contact point between the wheel and the surface it's driving on. Now, traction is a function of friction, and it's a faction, uh, a function of the force that's exerted down on that surface from the weight on the wheel. So, if you've ever taken your pickup truck out in a snowy drive, um, and you know that, you know, your pickup truck slides around on that snow it spins and slips and slides and you can't get any traction what do you do you put weight down sandbags blocks wood something down into the back of that truck so that you are creating more downforce and thus more friction and are able to get traction down to the surface and move the vehicle forward. That's what it is in, in a basic sense. So I use this analogy when I'm talking to customers because it, it does two things. It describes, first of all, why we use O-ring tires like we do on our standard O-ring tires. And it also answers the question, why is our tractor heavy? We make our tractors heavy on purpose. Some of our competitors talk about how a camera system should be a light thing. It should be, you know, light to be able to crawl over debris. Well, that's all well and good, but that only gets you so far. And the problem with that is if you're in a pipe and you have debris and you have a small enough, light enough tractor to drive over that debris, the problem is, is it won't have enough oomph, it won't have enough force or traction to pull the heavy cable that it's pulling down into the pipeline any distance. So in a case like that, you don't want a light tractor. You want a heavy tractor. And in our case, we build ours out of one big block of brass that is milled um, to accept the electronics and the motors and all the components on the inside. It's incredibly heavy. So that is purposely made that way so that there is a lot of weight and downforce enabling you to get a lot of traction. Now, it's not just a function of weight down. It's also a function of how much surface area, how much surface contact you have um, with a, a surface, with, with a wheel. So if you imagine um, like a drag racer, right? A drag racer has, I'm looking at the back of the dragster, okay? So you've got big wheels hanging out back, big, flat, soft wheels that if you ever see one spin up, what does it do? It flattens out. It gets wider down at the base to make more contact with the surface, creating a, a larger spot for more friction and enabling you then to apply more traction. Because we all know a dragster wants to go as fast as it can, as quick as it can. The same thing is very similar with our wheels. So these O-ring wheels, like what I talked about, they conform to a pipeline. So a pipeline is curved. It's not flat. You know, you can put garden tractor wheels on a camera system and it will work, especially for you know, gritty debris. There's not one solution for any one type of pipeline condition, but in general, pipes are 
smooth because they need to be so they can carry the waist down without hanging up. And they also are usually slippery because they are wet or full of grease or whatnot. So in general, a pipe is curved. And if you look at the profile of our tractor, here's our tractor. And then here's our hubs. I'm looking at back or the front, it doesn't matter. But the wheel, the O-ring wheel conforms and flattens out to the shape of the pipe. If it was square, you would only be running on one little edge. You know, a square wheel would only make contact at that one point around the, the pipeline surface. Whereas with this one, with our O-ring wheels, it conforms. The weight down presses down and it spreads out and increases the contact patch, uh, allowing you to establish more friction through the additional weight. So as the camera tractor is heavy, it pushes down. It provides that added traction to move forward. And that's why, in a nutshell, our tractors are heavy. And that's why we use O-ring wheels as our standard wheel. You can always have other types. It's not always the perfect solution. Sometimes you're going to want grooved wheels to be able to climb over um, offset joints. Sometimes that's necessary. Sometimes you're going to want big pneumatic wheels to get you up in the middle of the pipe um, and to get you over some big chunks of debris. But in general, over the 60 plus years that we've been making sewer crawlers, these type of wheels, O-ring wheels, are cheap, easy to replace, and provide the best, most applicable traction in a pipeline that you're going to get with any other type of wheel in general, 80% of the time. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free. You can always contact us. Um, we're happy to talk about it and happy to give you all the examples you might need. Uh, once again, thanks for listening.